Hello everyone and welcome to Udruzi Africa. The whole point of this tutorial is to just share knowledge across and I'll be doing that with just a pen, a white sheet of paper and a camera phone as you'll be seeing in a few minutes. The reason why I'm doing this is to encourage other people who think that they need to have the latest technology or gadget to be able to pass knowledge across. No you don't. If all you have, like me, is a piece of paper, pen and phone, that's fine. We're interested in sharing knowledge across and have a good time while doing that. Uh, we don't want to be limited by our technology. If you have anything better, by all means, feel free to use that instead. But if you don't, then use whatever you have and don't hesitate to pass your knowledge across, as I'll be doing in a few minutes. Today, we will be looking at uh, mass versus weight. So many times these two units seem to be interchanged one for the other or used in the same sentence and without without any distinction. But today we'll be seeing how very distinct these two units are. What is matter? What is mass? Sorry. Mass, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Mass is the amount of matter in a body. Weight, on the other hand has to do with the gravitational attraction on a body by the earth. From what we're taught in high school. How are these two related? Simple formula. W is equal to mg, where W is our weight, m is our mass. G here is our gravitational constant. And I'll explain that in a few minutes, and so we'll see how that's <clears throat> how that makes sense. So the last time I checked my weight on the scale, I was eighty kg. Well, heavy or not, depends on how you look at that. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that is my mass. We all know that the gravitational attraction on the Earth on objects is at 9.8 meters per second. This is the acceleration that all objects have towards the center of the Earth because of the attraction of the Earth. So that would mean I would weigh seven hundred and fifty-eight newtons. That's how much that's how much I weigh because of this G, this G here, which means if I went to another planet, or if I went to the moon, I would weigh differently, even though I have the same mass and that hasn't changed. Using the same formula, I weigh 80 kg. If I went to the moon, which has a gravitational constant of 2.1.2, 6244 meters per second square. I would weigh 129.52 newtons. Quite light. And that's because the force the moon has, the force of gravity the force of gravity the moon has on the object on objects on the moon is less than that of the earth. The objects on the moon accelerate at 1.6244 meters a second square as compared to the earth where things accelerate towards the center of the earth at 9.8 so that's where the difference is now we compare that to, to a larger object which is Jupiter even though I weigh the same mass 80 kg and I went to Jupiter that has a gravitational constant of you know 26 meters per second squared I would weigh a whopping 2080 newtons that's 2.6 times more than I weigh on Earth today. And that, my friends, is the difference between mass and weight. Your mass might remain constant, you know, unless, of course, you add, you know, you add or lose uh, matter on your object. But your weight will vary depending on that. On different planets
as we can see. My mass hasn't changed, but my, my g has, so I weigh differently. I would weigh two point six times that I did than I you know two point six times more on Jupiter than I do here on Earth. And I would weigh a sixth less on the moon than I currently do on Earth. And that's the difference. Thank you. This is what we're talking about today. Tomorrow I'll be adding a few more things. Don't forget, feel free. Use whatever you have. As long as it's clear, you know, you'll forgive me for things being a bit wobbly. But I hope everyone followed and you could you could see in the end what I was trying to pass across. So if this is all you have, just feel free to pass the message across. It's it's all about knowledge, it's all about sharing knowledge. Thank you.